as much fun as it is to talk about the micro caps, the ones that we speculate on, the ones that might do 10, 20, 50, even 100x, I also feel that's my responsibility to tell you about the best projects building in crypto. That's right, the blue chips, the ones that we take those gains from and put our profits into. That's right, guys. Today in this video, we're going to talk about one of the best projects building in crypto. That is the Cosmos ecosystem, one that has been building since 2014, the same time Ethereum launched. Guys, if that sounds good to you, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Ready? Let's get into it. What is Cosmos? Cosmos is creating the internet of blockchains or a system of interconnected blockchains. So people can spin up blockchains very easily in Cosmos and have them communicate with each other through IBC. To give you a bit of color on Cosmos, it's in the top 50 on coin market cap. So Cosmos was founded in 2014 by two brilliant computer scientists. Again, 2014. This is the same year that Ethereum was released. Essentially, these guys said, we need to focus on interoperability. And I remember in 2014, interoperability was a discussion back then. So in order to understand why this is so valuable, first, we have to go into the problems that Cosmos is trying to solve. Now, let's go to the two biggest cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and quickly cover why they have issues. Well, Bitcoin is simply not programmable. You can't create smart contracts on the base layer. Bitcoin is simply meant to be either a means of payment or a store of value. Ethereum is great, but essentially it is very, very slow and it is an isolated ecosystem. People are building bridges, but native communication is where the future of crypto will be. If we expect crypto and blockchain to be used by the masses, we can't expect people to understand how to use complicated bridges. We need native communication. Another problem with, with Ethereum is that you don't have a lot of options in programming language, right? So Ethereum is created in Solidity. And yes, there are a lot of devs on the planet today who know how to program Solidity, but there's exponentially more developers out there that know how to program in other languages like Python or C++ or whatever. Another issue with Ethereum is the fact that applications don't have sovereignty. And basically that means that applications can't control their own kind of underlying logic because they have to use the logic of Ethereum, for example. What Cosmos is attempting to do is make a really, really easy solution for anybody who wants to build an application to also create their own sovereign kind of logic, their own rules essentially for how their ecosystem operates, meaning their own token, their own taxation, these kind of things which Cosmos is allowing. So they are able to communicate with everybody else in the Cosmos ecosystem, which is very, very robust. Cosmos has also a centralized for-profit company called Tendermint, which has been building the toolkits for Cosmos, creating very, very easy tools for anybody to come and create their own custom blockchain and build it on top of Cosmos. Why is this all really important? Well, people want to have the freedom if they want to have a public or a private blockchain. Think about all the big banks, all the big enterprises, everybody in Wall Street, everybody who needs to have their information and data kept privately, but want to be able to reconcile with a public ledger or be able to share some information with the public this is what Cosmos allows to happen. Similarly, people can build open permissionless blockchains as well on Cosmos, of course. Cosmos is extremely high performance. You can get one second block times with seven second finality or confirmations, just meaning that in one, sec in one block, you have essentially your message propagated throughout the universe saying that this transaction has been processed. And in just seven seconds, you know that that is solid on-chain confirmed. Cosmos can process thousands of transactions per second right now, which outperforms most blockchains out there. So just to give you a comparison, Ethereum is currently processing just 15 transactions per second. Inevitably, you will see Cosmos scale to the likes of MasterCard and Visa processing tens of thousands of transactions per second. I talked to a lot of projects building on Cosmos and they all say that building on Cosmos is very easy. Why? One of the reasons is the Cosmos SDK software development kit, which allows a programmer to program applications on Cosmos in any kind of programming language. And this compiles down that programming language into something that Cosmos can read and understand and communicate that across the whole Cosmos ecosystem. The first blockchain built in Cosmos was the Cosmos hub. It's the central ledger where all of these connected blockchains, which they're calling zones, settle with. And this is ultimately the point of communication between all the blockchains that transact with each other, that communicate with each other, 
This is very, very similar again to the Relay Chain and Beacon Chain in Polkadot and Ethereum respectively. Polkadot has XCM, cross-chain communication. In Cosmo, this is called IBC, Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol. This is essentially the messaging service between the different blockchains that makes the hub possible. Atom is the native token for the Cosmos blockchain. You can actually go stake your Atom to help secure the network and in doing so, you will get a portion of all the network transaction fees and newly created Atom that are coming into the ecosystem as validator rewards. I'm gonna tell you about the top 10 coins that Cosmos helps secure. They're Binance Coin, Terra, Cosmos Hub, OKX Chain, Crypto.com, Thor Chain, Secret Protocol, KuCoin, and Osmosis. Now we have interchain security coming where creating your own blockchain on Cosmos will allow you to share the security with the Cosmos blockchain, which is a massive, massive upgrade. So another really cool feature that's coming is called interchain accounts. You guys may have seen me make a video on BitClout back in the day that then turned into Deso, which is a major, huge blockchain built by all the major VCs. One of the coolest things that they were doing is this ability to take your account from one application to the next. Let's say that you have an account on some IDEO launch Launchpad and you want to go onto another one on a different blockchain built on Cosmos, your account automatically will show up on the other application. If you're into DeFi at all, you will have heard of liquid staking. This essentially allows you to stake your tokens and still get a synthetic version representing your stake tokens, which allows you to use it in DeFi, which kind of allows you double dipping in yield. So you can essentially stake your atom, get your block rewards from the Cosmos ecosystem and all the transaction fees, and additionally, you can go then use that synthetic version of your staked asset to participate in DeFi products and earn additional yield in those products as well. This is something that other DeFi protocols have been doing and I'm happy to see it come into Cosmos as well. Let's talk about ambition for a second. There's currently 50 different blockchains connected to IBC. The CEO thinks that there will easily be 200 by the end of 2022 and potentially in the future, there could even be millions of chains connected to Cosmos network and of course, you wouldn't be a proper blockchain or blockchain protocol if you didn't allow NFTs, right? NFTs are massive. So we can go look at Stargaze, which is a first layer one blockchain being built on Cosmos for interoperable NFTs. Imagine that you have an in-game asset, a skin, a weapon, a vehicle, and you wanna take it into another metaverse, another game. This is what Stargaze is doing on Cosmos, allowing NFT interoperability, this is huge, guys. Cosmos is definitely a blue chip cryptocurrency that I feel personally comfortable putting a percentage of my portfolio in and will continue to do so in the future. Make sure that you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will catch you on the next one.